This method can help answer key questions in the field of vector-borne disease ecology, such as what role does the vector microbiome play in pathogen dynamics, and how do vector microbiomes form and vary? The main advantages of this technique are that it allows for high replication and high resolution in identification, allowing the user to accurately characterize the vector microbiome under varying ecological and environmental conditions. Visual demonstration of this method is important, as the microbiome sequencing setup steps are difficult to learn, and there are many different products available and techniques, but few available resources for learning these steps. Begin this procedure with tick collection as described in the text protocol. To remove surface contaminants from the ticks, add 500 microliters of hydrogen peroxide and vortex for 15 seconds. Repeat this wash with 70% ethanol and then double distilled water. Place the ticks into a new PCR tube and allow them to air dry. In this tube, mechanically disrupt tick tissues by crushing the ticks with a mortar and pestle. Purify DNA from individual ticks following the instructions provided in a commercially available DNA extraction kit. Elute to a final volume of 100 microliters. Creating a negative control at the extraction step is critical for later differentiating suspected contaminants from true vector microbes. Using sterile technique during the extraction step and later PCR steps is also necessary to minimize the impact of contamination common in 16S sequencing. Set up the Amplicon PCR in a 27.5 microliter reaction containing 5 microliters of each primer at 1 micromolar and 12.5 microliters of commercially available PCR mix.